Data about this year's flu shot shows it did a good job in keeping many Americans out of the doctor's office. Here to explain is Dr. Ali Raja, Deputy Chair of the Department of Emergency Medicine at Mass General. Dr. Raja, thanks for joining us. Happy Friday. Thanks, Erica. You too. All right, Dr. Raj, as you well know, health officials are happy if the shot is 40 to 60 percent effective at preventing illness. So how did this year's shot compare? It did pretty well, Ben. It's right in that range. So this year, adults who got the flu shot were 44 percent less likely to go to an emergency department or an urgent care than people who didn't get the shot. And they were 39 percent less likely to be hospitalized. Both those numbers are a lot better than like the 25% that we saw last year. Very good. Well, so in this flu season, it hit our area earlier than usual, actually. Some would say harder as well. So what can you tell us about the number of patients you're seeing now? Well, Erica, you're right. The flu numbers have definitely dropped. We had a real peak in overall cases as well as hospitalizations back in November and December about that time. And at that time, the numbers were two or three times as high as the last few years. But fortunately, now in late February, we've got numbers that are that have dropped back down to a more typical level for us. All right, in the past, and let's go kind of into the way back machine, before the pandemic, we right. often would see here in New England kind of a second surge of flu sometime late winter, early spring, probably right around now, the kind of February, March, April time frame. Do you think that is likely to happen this year? You know, Ben, it's, it's really hard to predict. You're right, the pandemic sort of threw everything out of sync. Back in 2019, 2020, right when COVID was first picking up, that's the, the last year that we have sort of typical results for, we definitely saw a second surge right around late March. But this year, but the year after that, we saw flu die out because of the shutdown and masking. This year, I can't really tell you because we don't have good data from the past couple of years because of everything that happened. But what I can tell you is that if we do have a second surge, I know that doctor's offices and emergency departments are ready just in case. All right, Dr. Ali Raja from Mass General, thanks as always for joining us. Thanks, Eric and Ben. Thank you.